All right, I'm gonna be going over how to program the Rainbird STP-6. Um, this will also work for the nine station controller, the STP-9 and the STP-3 or four, I believe they made as well. Um, first setting, the auto run, that's gonna just give you your heads up display and tell you uh, when it's, we're gonna go back to that, tell you everything that it's going. Uh, the set time, right now it is 10, 11 a.m. And the uh, up and down arrows will change the time. Both up and down arrows will change the time for the time setting. Then we go to the date. It is 2016. Um, this is going to change the date, and I think you have to actually just hold it in to roll over on the month. Yep. 622. And that's the date in the month. This will do the date in the month. Like I said, it will roll over. Um, and then next you go to the first zone. It's gonna program. Uh, either you can have the zone off, you can have it water one time per day, and it's gonna let me know the first start time is at 4 a.m. And you can change that in 15 minute increments. It's gonna run for 30 minutes. Typically rotor zones I have, if they're in the shade, they'll be uh, 25, 20 minutes. Um, 30 minutes for part sun for the day and then uh, 45 minutes if it's full sun really hot throughout the season um, and adjust them accordingly throughout the season now It's gonna be on odd even days. So I'm gonna set it to be even days Otherwise, you could say I want it to run Sunday Wednesday and Friday But we're just gonna have it even even days odd days, same deal even days uh, we're on even odd watering here. Um, same thing for program two. Now you don't have to figure out that it will run because if I set both these for 4 a.m., they will do what is called stacking. Um, the first zone, since it's programmed to run at four, it will start at four. Uh, it will just keep track of the second zone and say, I know I need to run at four as well but I'll wait for zone one to finish and then zone two will start. And that's called stacking. They all can have the same start time and it won't affect it. Same thing, even days one time, one time a day. Let's set these all for four. Uh, zone three is a spray zone. I typically have spray zones in the shade run from five to 10 minutes to uh, 15 to 20 minutes when they're in sunny areas. Somebody had already programmed this controller, that's why. 4 a.m., you don't have to do the math or anything. Now, seasonal percentage. Uh, this is gonna give you an adjustment, a plus minus adjustment percentage. If I come down, it's gonna give me minus 30%. In the springtime, you can start with a minus and then go up as it gets hotter. Um, right now, the 30 minute zones are gonna run for 40, 45 minutes at plus 50%. Um, same thing in the fall, just dial it back. It's will change all the zones together instead of changing individual adjustments. If you have just one area that's dry or wet, adjust it individually. Use the seasonal percentage to adjust throughout the season. The other feature this is gonna have, it's gonna have rain delay, and this is gonna be number of hours. So 48 hours, it will delay two days. When it's on rain delay, you can put it back on run and it will say 48 hours remaining in the delay. Off, it's of course not going to run. If it's running and you want to shut it off, you can flip it to off and that will shut it off. All right, we come back to oh, let's get rid of the rain delay. It does that in 12 hour increments. So it's going to say that its next scheduled zone to water is zone one on 6 24 at 4 a.m. Since today is an even day, it's the 22nd, it will skip tomorrow the 23rd and it will run the day after the 24th. And I think that's what well, tomorrow's Thursday, so it'll run Friday the 24th for me on this at 4 a.m. It will start run one and then skip. Big thing is people don't think they can set them all at the same time, gotta do the math. Um, you, that's not necessary. So we'll get that going. Um, the other thing is if you wanna run all zones, you can hit all. It's gonna start on zone one 
Um, and then if I hit the button again, the all zones button, it will go to zone two. Same thing, zone three, four, five. If I hit the single zone button, I believe I have to just select it, like select the zone two on the dial and then zone two will run. And it will shut off as soon as you move the dial. All right, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you found it helpful.